Good morning, everyone. Deb and Tattoo here on a what is starting to rain Wednesday morning. Uh, there's Tattoo. We are out for seven miles today. So um, I'm here to you with our 2021 and 2021 dedication. And we are getting ready to uh, end November on high note. So please check my site because we'll be updating our progress. So I wanted to come to you today with a unique dedication. So um, Jimmy Carter is a president that has always kind of caught my attention. Um, I feel like I, I was, it was in 1979, I believe, when he finished his presidency or thereabouts. So um, I was younger, I was only 11 years old, but I've always tried to pay attention to the fact that um, this very kind man who didn't get reelected has gone on to really change the world as a humanitarian. And, um, you know, we talk about post-cancer post life and uh, he has a post-president life. So I would encourage you to check it out. But the thing that I don't know that many know about him is that I think it was 2015, he announced he had cancer. He had had melanoma and he had found out that it spread to um, his liver and his brain. And um, so obviously melanoma, more of a surface cancer, had gone inside. And boy, um, I don't know what the, uh, let's say first 10 responses are when you find out that you have a touch of brain cancer. Um, I feel like I was totally knocked on my butt about my bone cancer and um, you know, that certainly must have been a message that took great courage to listen to. Um, but what's interesting is that he went into radiation therapy, but what he chose to do, similar to Laverne yesterday, was do something different. And he added immunotherapy to his treatment. So guys, really what that says in uh, layman's terms, he was getting radiation, but he also worked on with his doctors building his immune system. One of the things that we know about cancer is that it kind of wipes out your immune system. And back in 2015, certainly, this was something very cutting edge, that what he did was, he said, I'm gonna try and keep my body the strongest it's ever been while I'm getting radiation. So that's kind of a one-two punch to cancer, right? We love that. Um, and it's 2021 and he's still with us. He beat it. And um, I think that's something that, you know, has not just caught the attention in cancer treatment, but many of us living that, you know, imagine if immunotherapy can have an impact on someone's life while they're fighting cancer, the investment in uh, helping, hang on, I'm going down a hill here helping your immune system while you're not fighting cancer positions you, A, to maybe not be susceptible to cancer and or just keep your body healthier to everything. So um, that's something that I work on in my post-cancer life is keeping my immune system strong. I try and be plant-based and this, right? Moving and um, body, mind, and spirit activities that help keep my immune system strong and I just think wow I mean was he a, a, a pave maker or what I mean I never knew that about him and it just kind of adds to the level of respect that I have for him and gratitude and a fun fact about him did you know that on the day that he was getting in the helicopter to leave his presidency is when the I, uh, prisoners that Iraq took were released. They were gathered together, but not until that moment did they allow them to fly. I think it was to Germany. So the gift that he gave this world by being president, stepping out of his presidency to become a humanitarian. Guys, he Habitat for Humanity. He works, um, obviously, you know, with many of the former presidents to... Uh, you know, just kind of, not just keep our country healthy, um, 
and prosperous but out in the world to uh you know help the world be a better place he has the carter foundation but um guys he's a bell ringer just like us he is a bell ringer he is a um cancer cockerer he kicked cancer's ass so um i want to say he's in his 90s right now him and rosalind so um just some fun facts you know just something to admire more about this gentleman and i put an article down below about his immunotherapy so if that's anything that might help anybody um either that's fighting cancer or someone that they know is fighting cancer i would urge you to check it out um because that's an important part guys it just kills your body it weakens it so much and if you can on the flip side say okay cancer i'm gonna fight you but guess what I'm going to make my body stronger. It just increases your chances. So thank you, Jimmy Carter. Um, God, I feel like so unique saying thank you to a president on social media. But I do with great gratitude. I'm so glad that I was able to learn your story. And um, I went and found a Super Soul Sunday on Spotify with Oprah and Jimmy that I will post down below um, in the comments for you to check out as well. So I hope you have an awesome Wednesday. The rain, you can see it was starting. I think it's kind of saying they're out doing something good, so we'll give them a break. <laughs> and maybe it won't come for a little while. But I hope everyone has a great hump day. Right, Wednesday's hump day. See ya. Bye-bye. Hi, Lisa.